The moment we've all been waiting for has finally arrived. The Mars One Round 2 interviews are about to start. Of the 705 candidates who passed Mars One's medical tests early this year, only 663 people remain in the selection process, myself included, and we're residing in 76 different countries scattered all throughout the world. So what happens next? Well, we've each received an information pack containing various information about Mars, such as Martian geology, the Martian atmosphere, the Martian surface environment, previous missions to Mars and their science objectives, and generally a big wad of information about aspects of the Mars One mission itself. Plenty to read, plenty to learn, and certainly fun, I'm looking forward to it. So in December, we will each be invited to a 15-minute video interview with Dr. Norbert Kraft, Mars One's Chief Medical Officer and Head of the Crew Selection Programme. So I've mentioned the information that we're going to have to digest for the interview. We're going to be tested on three random aspects of that, but in addition to that, we'd probably expect there to be more general interview type questions, and probably stuff similar to what we've answered in the media. For example, why do you want to go to Mars? And basically continuing the process of psychoanalyzing us. But basically the three questions on the material we've received is in order to establish our ability to rapidly learn and digest large quantities of information and to clearly communicate it, which will both prove vital aspects of the crew training program over the following eight years. Now, this is a little different from Mars One's original plan of having each of the candidates attend a interview face-to-face -face with a regional selection committee. But what this approach does mean is that it will ensure consistency and fairness in how the interviews are conducted, since all the interviews are being done by the same person. However, Mars One is arranging for local film crews to come to us, meet us, and film us both before, during, and after our interviews take place, and in exchange they will get the exclusive media broadcast rights for all of the footage that they film. They're also going to get an exclusive first access interview of us when we finally find out who passes the interview to round three of the selection process. So all in all, of the 663 people interviewed, only 100 people are going to pass to the third round of Mars One selection process. And that's a lot of people to interview, so it's going to take around two months from start to finish. And bear in mind though that, although we say 100 will pass, that figure is a little flexible and can change. Mars One won't just exclude people who do amazingly well in the interviews in order to meet some predefined quota. So it could be say 110, it could be 97, it's open to change. But there is one thing worth bearing in mind, and that is Mars One is committed to having a 50-50 ratio between males and females in round three of the selection process. And since the ratio is currently 60-40 between males and females, that means that statistically speaking, females are more likely to pass the interview. I've also got a few new details about round three of the selection process for you. Of the 100 people who passed to the third round, they're going to be split into between six and seven groups of between 10 and 15 people each, who will then each undergo a series of intense group challenges to demonstrate their suitability for the mission. And this will be televised so you can watch it happening. Of those 100 people, 50 will then proceed to the fourth and final round of the selection process, which will likely consist of a prolonged stay in Simulation Outpost Alpha. This simulation will act as the basis to determine the 24 people who will pass the selection process and become full-time employees and members of the Mars One Astronaut Corps, and that should be sorted by the end of 2015. Now last month I spoke a little about Simulation Outpost Alpha, but now I've got some more news for you. Because just this week, Mars One's Outpost and Capsule Project Manager, Christian von Bengsten, took to the Mars Exchange in order to answer some of the most common questions about the Outpost. If you want to see his answers, you can take a look directly on the Mars Exchange, I'll post a link to that below for you. In other news, two astrophysicists over at Out of Space TV recently posted a reaction video about the one that I made not too long ago about the MIT Mars One report. It's a great video, you can check it out just over here, and I'd like to thank Robert Latter for letting me know about the video. Be sure to give it a watch and take a look at their channel because they've got some absolutely fantastic videos about space over there.
Finally, I'd just like to welcome all of the new subscribers to this channel by dedicating my next video to a Q&A session where I answer all of your questions. It'll be coming out in about a fortnight or so, so be sure to send in your questions over the next week, and hopefully I should have some more information about the round two interviews to share with you by then, and I'll try to answer as many of your questions as possible. If you're new to this channel, I produce Mars One mission updates at the end of each month, some of which you can check out above. Or perhaps you'd like to see how to make a comet yourself, or learn a little about the Skylon space plane. I've got some great videos coming up in December, and to celebrate reaching 250 subscribers, I'm going to let you choose one of them. Would you like to see one explaining the basics of orbital mechanics, Orbital Mechanics 101, or how about one on Martian supervolcanoes? Comment below in order to vote, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing, and I'll see you next time.